An award season underway for some of the best film and television projects of the past year, but there are many exciting projects coming out this year, including, of course, Mean Girls, which everybody is talking about, which was just released. And joining me now to talk about some of those big anticipated movies and shows is Kristen Maldonado. She joins us back here again, the founder of the site Pop Culture Planet. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. Great to have you back here. Okay, so let's talk about Mean Girls. You saw it already. Yes. Thoughts? Well, first of all, this was my most anticipated movie of 2024. Of all time. Oh. Of all time. <laughs> right. Like, literally, I'm obsessed. And what I love about this is this is an adaptation of the Broadway musical. So it's a little bit different. But, you know, going to those New York roots of Broadway, mm -hmm. um, you got Renee Rapp, an all-star, who reprises her role of Regina George from the Broadway musical. Um, you got um, Jaquel Spivy, who was in A Strange Loop on Broadway. So a lot of young rising stars that like you definitely don't want to miss. The soundtrack's out. I cannot stop listening to it. Well, interesting you bring up the soundtrack, because some people have said that Mean Girls did not advertise itself as a musical. It was just kind of a remake of the old movie. Uh, is that the impression that you got with the way they, they targeted this audience? And why do you think they did it that way? Yeah, you know, I think that sometimes Hollywood thinks uh, people are not always a big fan of a musical movie. I feel like they did that with Wonka. They did it with The Color Purple. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a bait and switch. Might confuse people when they go into the project. But I got to tell you, if you're a Mean Girls fan, and you do love musicals, yeah. you're going to love this. this. And there's made for you. a lot of cool Easter eggs, a lot of cool references, maybe some cool cameos <laughs> that you don't want to miss. Another revamp, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, that is coming out soon. Let's talk about that one. Oh, my gosh. So we all know the 2005 movie with Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. So this is like a TV adaptation. It's a little bit different, though, because instead of it being like this married couple that's spies and in love, it's two people who are forced into a marriage as their cover. So maybe we'll see them fall in love a little bit. But you got Donald Glover, you got Maya Erskine, who are hilarious in their own right. And this one they filmed all over New York, which was really fun. Um, you get to go to a lot of local places, the Orsay Restaurant, the Cherry Lane Theater, if you're an off-Broadway fan. So a lot of cool places. A lot of this is blast from the past. That includes Ghostbusters, which is coming up this year as well. A lot of people excited for this one, uh, really bringing together the new and the old, all things New York. This yes. is exciting. I feel like when you think of Ghostbusters, like that's the quintessential New York City movie, yeah. right? This one is actually a sequel to the most recent Ghostbusters Afterlife. And we get to see the OG Ghostbusters come back. And I mean, they're going back to the heart of New York City, right? So, of course, they have to go back to the iconic Ghostbusters firehouse, which is right here in Tribeca. And um, you know what's really cool is that's the home to the real-life Hook and Ladder Company 8. So, so, so iconic. So many tie-ins everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. We actually spotted, our camera spotted them filming the, the new Joker coming out. This was a while ago. It comes out in October. But yeah, we caught them filming in Lower Manhattan, Lady Gaga, Joaquin Phoenix. There is a lot of anticipation for this film. Yes, absolutely. So this is a sequel to the 2019 Joker movie. You said it, Joaquin Phoenix, Lady Gaga. Yeah. Iconic. Need and, you say more. Right? right? And a musical. I'm telling you, 2024 is the year of the musical, and I'm here for it. Um, and this one, you know, they filmed all over, especially going back to those iconic Joker stairs on West 167th Street in the Bronx, mm -hmm. and even in front of the uh, New York County Courthouse. So you'll get a lot of, you'll see a lot w once that comes out. We've already seen, like I said, some of that filming behind the scenes. Uh, the second season of Feud coming out later this month, so let's talk about that too. Yes, this is uh, the Ryan Murphy Project, second season. This time they're focused on Truman Capote and the Swans, aka the New York socialites that he, you know, betrayed. Um, this one they filmed all over the Upper East Side, uh, Madison Square Park, and even in front of the Alice in Wonderland statue in Central Park. All right, lots of things to look out for mm -hmm. coming this year. Uh, premieres there on Hulu. You saw it January 31st. Kristen, good to have you. Thanks so much for these recommendations. Thank you for having me. It's a great year for, for TV and film.